gentlemen, today I am doing an exhaust review on the BRZ. I haven't done a review yet, and I usually do that with all my cars. The reason I'm doing this is because the JDL front pipe finally came in. I'm so excited to put that front pipe on. It's gonna sound, it's gonna sound really good. I'm not gonna tell you exactly which front pipe configuration I got just yet, um, but it definitely is gonna make this louder. And, you know, while most people, oh crap, hope it didn't fall off, dude. Oh, we're still hanging in there. That's impressive. While most people that I've seen in the community are jumping on the unequal length header, I think, and I think that sounds phenomenal, and I will eventually try that out. I really, for some reason, enjoy the sound of this car with the equal length header. So I'm, I'm just gonna rock this until I feel like I'm ready to try out the, the unequal length. All right, so this is the HKS Spec L exhaust. This is the one that was made for the first gen B or Z. I haven't seen the ones that are made for the 2022 and up released yet, um, but AWE is coming out with some, and I, th <laughs> I think I might finally try an AWE exhaust. A lot of people recommended that when I had the Tension Civic SI and for the Type R. So I'm gonna get you the best exterior clips that I can get right now. Back it up a little more towards the phone. Here are some revs. Let's rock and roll, boys. Oh, I'm still in reverse, Jesus. such a fun car about the exhaust I don't quite know how to describe the tone but I just I think this car could sound a lot better with a better quality exhaust uh, it kind of sounds like if you were talking it kind of sounds like you have a mask on like that's how that's how this sounds for some reason Maybe this exhaust just has too much muffling. Not quite sure how to put it. But I have to remind you that this exhaust was created for the first gen. That means that the piping, since uh, the first gen was a two liter, the piping is gonna be a lot smaller than what it should be for the 2.4, which all these exhaust companies have already gone over and saying that, you know, in their development notes for the second gen, the piping diameter is gonna be a little, a little, uh, it's gonna be increased. Yo, I just went grocery shopping. <clears throat> hey, Sheriff. Yeah, fun fact. I do all the grocery shopping in our household. Vivian has some social anxiety, so, and I actually like going to Walmart. Just went, spent $180 on a week's worth of groceries for two people. I found another action figure. Noble Six from Halo Reach. Hell yeah, brother. Anyway, yeah, groceries are just outrageous right now. It's mostly like meat. Okay, I'm about to pass Vivian's store. Vivian said she just went on a lunch, so I told her she better wave. I'm gonna honk at her. Dude, yeah, this, this exhaust just is not cutting it, man. I gotta get that front pipe in ASAP. Where's Vivian? I can't hear this thing at all. Oh my God. So guys, I'm a creature of habit. When I take the Type R, I put the groceries in the back because it's hatchback, it's all open, the air conditioning will make its way back there. I don't put the groceries in the trunk of the B or Z because uh, the AC, it's not gonna go through the seats and I don't wanna drive the seats down because the road noise is terrible, blah, blah, blah. 
So I put the groceries up front. I put everything that needs to be chilled. So anything frozen or refrigerated, I put that right on the ground. So I have the air conditioning going right on that stuff. And then it's a race home through this horrible traffic. It's crazy, man. Life is just, wouldn't it be nice if we could all afford to pay for like a maid and just like have, have a, our own personal assistant. How wonderful would that be to have your own personal assistant take care of all those errands for you? Like when I stopped filming a couple hours ago when I, when I got that exterior footage, I went into Wells Fargo to set up a pin for my debit card. There are four tellers, 20 people in line. It took me 45 minutes to get to the counter. So it's just, you know, a life. Life. I, I don't know. Bro, check out the storm. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, baby. Yeah, you don't like the you don't like the thunder, do you, Charlie? To finish off this video, I'm gonna buy some new parts. And That one was really close. I need to buy some new parts for both the BRZ and the Type R. Since there really aren't many power mods I can do to the BRZ, uh, I want to get some visual stuff. But I want your opinion. I want I want you guys to have a say in what I get. First and foremost, I really want to do the GR86 from bumper swap on the BRZ. I have my friend Marco who works for Caliber Collision. He's like one of the best painters for caliber collision in the country. Um, so paint mashing will not be a problem. Don't worry about the price. I, that's what I have my YouTube revenue for. Uh, if that's something that you guys would like to see, I know I would like to see that. And if I had both bumpers, if I had the B or Z bumper and the GRD6 one, I could, why not have both? I don't know. I, I like the looks of the GRD6 bumper. I think probably a lot of people do. And I think there are probably a decent amount of B or Z owners who don't want to admit that they like the GRD6 from bumper more, but they do. Those are just my thoughts. I could, I could, I could be way off. So there's a bumper swap I want to do, and then uh, I need to get like a lip, side skirts or side skirt extensions. They have the TRD body kit, kind of, kind of like a body kit. And I really do like the way the TRD body kit looks on the new 86. I think the side skirts are probably the coolest part because it's not just like side skirt extensions, like those little flat black or carbon boards that you put under your side skirts. The TRD one is an actual like replacement and it has some extra, extra textures, extra lines on it. I think it looks really cool. But on 86speed.com, I've been, I've been browsing this website quite a bit lately. It's my wish list. I have the Tomei Equal Length Header, which is on pre-order right now. HKS GT2 Supercharger, product coming soon. Yeah, they said that was supposed to come out in like April and then May. It's probably gonna be a very long time uh, because I haven't, I haven't heard anything about the ECU getting cracked yet. Expected MSRP $4,000. Yeah, it's probably gonna be more than that, which is okay, I'm ready. So for rear diffusers, I'm ready to pull the trigger on one of these right now. But what I'm gonna do is on my Instagram, after this video posts, I'm gonna post uh, probably two or three different polls on my Instagram story. And you guys can go vote on which one you like better and then I'll go over the results and I'll buy the one that has the most votes. It's gonna be between the Tom's rear under diffuser. This is $975, which is crazy but it does look pretty cool. It's got some extra texture to it. And I know in this picture it shows uh, quad tip exhaust, but it doesn't have to be quad tip exhaust. So it's between this one or the G86 BRZ JDM OEM diffuser. I didn't even know this was a thing until I found it on this website. I mean, it definitely seems like it's overpriced at $500. Uh, I mean, it's not even, it's, it's like you barely add anything to it. So like I said, after this video post, those polls will be live on my Instagram. You guys can go vote there. 
And then there's also the HKS Super Air Filter, which, I mean, it's 40 bucks. I wouldn't mind getting it. Uh, I just wanna make sure that it's safe for the engine. So if anyone has one of those in their BRZ already or 86, let me know. I'll probably just gonna buy it anyway after I, after I post this video. And then for the Type R, I'm gonna do a couple pulls to narrow down which one you guys think I should get for taillights. At highrevmotorsports.com, they have three different versions and I like all of them pretty much equally. There's, it's pretty simple, it's version one, two, and version three. Version one, I would get the clear. I saw the smoked in person and the smoke were like way, way too dark for me, especially for a black car, it just, I don't think it would look good. And there's version two, which I can also get in clear. And then these are, I think these are brand new. I've never seen these before. Version three. This is like a totally new design. It's not going off of the Mugen replicas. And what I really appreciate about this is that they used a black car as like, you know, it's a test subject. So this is exactly what it would look like on my car. I just think this, I think this looks pretty dirty. So I'm excited to see which one you guys pick for the uh, diffuser situation and also the tail lights. But other than that, that's all I have for this video. I'm gonna go make dinner and I will see you guys in a couple days. Thanks for watching.